Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Master Paul, and it's a great honor to be with you here today. Today will be, let's try this, Manifesting with Soul Power. This is our subject matter for today, Manifesting with Soul Power. So I hope you stick around. It could be of great value to you. Today is the 19th of June, 2017. And uh, I tell you, this entire 21st century is moving along very fast, let alone real time as we know it. Time is just one of many subjects that can be in, accumulated and considered in the subject of manifestation. We will bring that into the fold of today's conversation. <clears throat> today's subject matter, uh, manifesting, and manifesting with soul power could uh, could have a significant impact on your life, just as it could in anybody's life who employs it. Um, as with everything, practice makes perfect. As with everything, when we do what a teacher asks you to do, usually you get the results as the teacher is suggesting. And if you do not, then usually you will not get the results. So today, regarding the subject of manifestation, we will be discussing a variety of perspectives. We'll be talking about the Tao science perspective. We'll be talking about what I have come to understand and uh, what I've come to understand works and doesn't work and why certain things work and don't work and what we can do about it with soul power. So I, I believe this will be a very popular subject. I believe there will be many people that will receive great value from this wisdom, teaching, and guidance. And I offer all credit to my teacher and spiritual father, Master Shah, who has uh, elevated my awareness, my soul uh, abilities, soul standing, uh, abilities to offer significant blessings that can significantly change people's lives in a very positive way. I would not be able to do anything without my teacher, Dr. and Master Shah, so I bow my head to this teacher. And I thank him from my heart for all that he does for humanity and all souls in all universes. <clears throat> so as we are gathering steam, as more people are learning about this, thank you for hitting the share button, letting other people know. And let's see who's tuned in today. Welcome, Kayla. Welcome also to Christopher Wayne. Welcome, Richie. Aloha, Lisa. Welcome, Johnny. Welcome, Abby Lynn. Aloha to Monica. And welcome also to Adelia. Welcome, Katie Nada. Aloha, Pat. Aloha to Janice Crosby. And thank you, uh, Chris. Looking forward to serving you. <clears throat> Looking forward to serving everyone. Welcome, welcome. Aloha, Monica. And welcome, Don Robinson. Welcome, Margaret Chong. Aloha and welcome to Brenda Hutton and Jacqueline McKay. Good to see you here. Welcome, Joshua. Aloha, uh, Lori Geis. And welcome, Sharon Dodd. Welcome also to Ali Fess. And for everyone else, if I haven't seen your name pop up, forgive me. Uh, welcome, Brianna. Welcome, Manuela. Great to see you here as well. So this background, uh, Chris just noticed it, is um, some people know the story. I'm not going to go into the whole story today, but it's a good example of manifestation, today's subject matter. Um, how can I say that? Well, uh, when I received this vision that came with working with an enlightened master on a soul travel, I had never before been on a soul travel and certainly I never before seen anything like what you're seeing behind me. Uh, it was a very real, just as real as, uh, as, a, as a waking dream. And um, I remembered it when I came out of this very short 10 minute soul travel experience. And it didn't leave my mind for a year. And during that year, I knew I had to get it out of my mind and onto canvas. I just didn't know uh, where I'd find an artist that was talented enough to to accomplish it and uh, secondly I, I didn't want it small I wanted it big you know and it wasn't when I say I the mess it was soul messages this needs to be big it needs to be you know huge so this is actually a, a mural uh, behind me it's a painted on canvas and it's a six foot by eight foot it is quite large and uh, a year later uh, heaven 
manifested for me the right person and the right conditions and uh, it's just extraordinary so it's just one example of manifestation it's traveled with me for 10 years now it does offer blessings it has been kai gonged so which means the light has been brought to it and uh, so you can literally ask the canvas and the, the souls of Kuan Yin on this side uh, happy Buddha on this side and over here is uh, Namo Amitofu uh, who is original Buddha and you can ask them for a blessing and they will serve you <coughs> so thank you all for joining welcome also CJ welcome Becky Lafab thank you all for hitting the share button letting other people know about this welcome Manuela I have a feeling the uh, amount of people attending will grow welcome to Lolly <coughs> and so let us start by um, connecting heart to heart soul to soul and I will ask the blessings placed in this beautiful image behind me to offer you a blessing in this uh, beginning of this heart connection so we'll start by placing our hands in the soul light soul service hand position which is much like a prayer position but we drop the left hand in front of the heart center and the right hand remains gently pointed towards heaven we close our eyes and let us fully connect to our beloved creators dear divine Tao and source our beloved creator they're all beings of light serving the plan of the light side including mother earth and father heaven all the angels, healing angels, archangels, our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, Lamas, Gurus, Sifu, Saints, dear beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, beloved Namo Amitofu, and beloved Kuan Yin, happy Buddha. We love you, we honor you, we respect you. We ask in whatever way is most appropriate for your presence today. We ask you to sit in each one of our heart centers and bless us each to more fully awaken to more fully develop our alignment to our original creator to more fully bless our awakening to manifesting how we can release that which is not serving us in this life how we can develop and manifest that which we desire we ask that we release all blockages of service to self that we can become more selfless in our service and we promise that with any things that we manifest into our life that we will use it to bring value to others we're very grateful for this opportunity to receive this blessing at this time we ask the Kaigong blessings beloved Kuan Yin happy Buddha and Namo Amitofu as appropriate to please offer all of those watching at this time a blessing to open our heart for the requests that have already been asked and for each soul's individual request as appropriate dear the source soul song of love peace and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes love you honor you respect you we invite you to turn on and we invite all souls in all universes to chant with us at this time for this service to serve all souls unconditionally so for those that are new watching for the first time this is not only a blessing but this is a, a, a mantra that can literally transform your life and it is downloadable at lovepeaceharmony.org uh, Kristen one of the beautiful universal servants has been posting these on the links and you will see that opportunity highly recommend you download it highly recommend you play it 24 7 it will change your life so let us chant together to offer this service with our eyes closed bringing forth and visualizing that which you wish to manifest. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Wo I wash in her ling. Wo I run red li. Wong li rong her mooshur shong. Shong I ping on 
望而现，相爱平安而现。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. For those that have just joined us, make a request. This is a blessing. Lu la lu la li. Lu la lu la la li. Lu la lu la li lu la. Lu la ha li lu la. Lu la li. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Moni， 好，好，好 ，Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. <coughs> We ask the Kaigong blessings and the image behind me to continue to serve for everyone's request the entire duration of this live stream as appropriate. So welcome, Lolly. Welcome、um, to Dio. Welcome, Adriana. Welcome, Tressa Nelson. Coming in from Vancouver. Welcome also to Julia Lawrence. Welcome Annie Smith. Welcome to、uh, Janet Hoffman. Welcome Kristen Strachan and welcome Zilki. <coughs> so thank you all for coming. If you haven't already hit the share button, please do so. Today will be very popular.、Uh, this is on the subject of manifesting with soul power. So I just completed a weekend with Dr. Master Rulin Shu, who I have、uh, known for about、uh, five or six years now, and to say that this individual has grown、uh, is a is a massive understatement.、Um, she is a physicist, and she、uh, came to. Uh, understand Dr. Master Shaw and the wisdom and the blessings and what he brings to humanity to awaken our souls and to uplift our soul journeys.、Um, <clears throat> she came because she wanted to heal with voice because he offered blessings where people could heal with song, and that was pretty much it. But as a physicist, she's always wanted to solve、um, uh, uh, the solution, the one equation that no physicist can solve, which is what、um, what is the mathematic formula that explains all life. Um, called the Grand Unification Theory, and so this was her dream and her goal, and she failed, and she readily admits it that she failed just like everybody else. But that was her intention. So she was wandering around in life, and you know, running a, a business that was semi-successful, and but not very happy. And anyway, she teamed up with Master Shaw, and he gave her massive, massive, massive blessings and downloads and transmissions, and cleared massive amounts of spiritual debts and karmas, and opened her third eye in massive ways. And then blessed her to connect to very high layers of heaven to receive Tao science, which then led her to reveal some of the information I'm going to be sharing with you today <clears throat> on the subject of manifestation.、And、she covered a lot of it this weekend. Now, when you're talking to a physicist, they're very、uh, mental. They're very. It, it, it's it's almost impossible for them to take. The information they have and bring it down to layman terms, our terms. Bring it down to communication that we can understand our level. And、uh, the 
in this process of five years, through all, uh, she readily says that if it wasn't for the blessings of Master Shah, I would not be able to communicate so simply very high level information. So uh, I'm going to share with you snippets of that high level information in ways that you can understand along with other information that I have garnered through the course of my life regarding the subject of manifesting, why it works, why it doesn't work. Um, of course, some of it is from the, the great gurus that have come before us on the subject matter, um, including the, the Law of One, <coughs> um, uh, Abraham Hicks information, uh, other forms of information. For those that have to go, this is recorded, so you just come back to this Facebook page. Watch it later. Also remember to subscribe. You'll be notified when I go live. And uh, other great uh, Napoleon Hill, you know, we all have uh, uh, those pieces of information are out there. So this will borrow on some of that, but it will also be going into some of the information that is not known in humanity, maybe 0.000005% at this time regarding soul power and Tao power and how those can be incorporated to bring forth the manifestation that we desire. So that's what you can expect today. I encourage you to stick around if you can. <clears throat> and so um, we started with the blessing and the blessing was to open our hearts, to open our, our minds so that we could absorb this information and uh, uh, have another layer. One of the first things that was taught about on this weekend was how karma keeps us from seeing clearly those things that we know. Karma keeps us from clearing our karma. Karma keeps us from watching something like this uh, uh, that can benefit us. Karma keeps us from applying what you learned today. Karma can be very, very um, uh, pivotal in our blockages and inhib inhibitions for us to move forward, which is why things like the 21 day challenge or, or putting a challenge to yourself for 21 days these kinds of things actually are very beneficial because in essence, you're forcing yourself to break through your own karma blockages that disallow you from applying some of the common sense things that will be shared today. <coughs> so uh, my first encouragement to all of you is to make an agreement for one subject matter only and apply this wisdom each and every day for 21 days and then check and see what might have shifted. Fully uh, uh, 20 or 30 percent of us are probably scraping paycheck to paycheck, maybe even worse off than that. And we truly need a miracle in our life and we need it now. According to the wisdom that was shared this weekend, miracles can easily happen when you apply the Tao science wisdom that I'm going to be sharing with you. Now this is not the full two-day seminar, um, but again, uh, it's an essence of it and it will be broken down as such. The essence is actually so incredibly simple that um, you're probably just going to either hit your head like a V8 or you're going to go, ah, well, yeah, that's good and all, but I kind of, I maybe, you know, maybe I won't be able to do that or, or how do you do that? I, I don't know how it's possible. I get it. It's very simple, but I don't know how it's possible because it is in actuality very simple. Now, over the weekend, uh, Master Ulin <coughs> offered some significant blessings, uh, truly significant, significant blessings. Um, and welcome Julia Abbott and welcome also to Tanya Dali. Uh, for those that tuned in, the blessings were, are instant. Uh, you don't even have to type in the request. The minute you think about it, heaven's offering it to you. So back to the subject matter. During this weekend, Master Ulin offered two extraordinary uh, blessings. And I did a soul reading on one of those blessings. Um, and a soul reading for those that are unfamiliar with it is asking Kevin what happened. And then Kevin tells you exactly what happened. Uh, so my mind doesn't get in the way. I don't really, I don't, because I don't know what happened. I can only guess, but Kevin knows. And so I just tune in after doing this nine years. The information that comes through is pretty accurate. And I have to say, I was, I was um, not surprised, but but I was laughing inside. So the long version that, that Master Rulin uh, spoke about was that manifesting is happening all the time. There is not one second that manifestation is not occurring. <clears throat> welcome Robin Toth, welcome Doug. And 
each second that manifestation is occurring we are directly impacting our future manifestation by our presence to the current manifestation so what's a different way of saying that if you get whacked over the head by something unpleasant and your reaction or response to it is something unpleasant or negative then you're manifesting more of that very simple at least 50% of you already know that but why aren't you doing anything about it the other 50% might be going oh my god really the answer is yes really <clears throat> each moment we have the opportunity con to control our future by our present uh, response to everything according to the wisdom that uh, is brought through from Master Shah with the subject of Tao science that was then given uh, uh, the mandate to this physicist to break down into human terms everything in all universes uh, in the yin yang universe we should say the yin yang universe is not all universes the yin yang universe is that which is manifestation the uh, above beyond all that is the Tao, the source the creator in which it is everything and nothing but which there is no manifestation formed yet <clears throat> so when we are in the yin yang world which is everything that you and i know about there is all possibilities and all possibilities are occurring according to where we place our focus i will repeat that all possibilities are occurring according to where we place our focus this has been scientifically validated with microscopes and all of these uh, uh, high electronic measuring equipments they literally validate that if you think a dot's going to show up here it does and if you think a dot's going to show up there it does so they have surmised based on what they can literally measure that where you place your focus is what comes into fruition okay this is literally scientifically validated <clears throat> welcome Wayne Anthony Cohen So, whether you believe that or not is irrelevant. Science believes it. And since if science validates it, it must be true, right? Wrong. Science is actually light years behind spirituality's understanding. But hey, it, they validated what spirituality knew a long time ago. So now it's doubly right. So let's work with that. Where you place your focus is what manifests. That is a truth. It is not a questionable truth. That being the baseline that we begin with, <clears throat> where then is your focus? Because that where you place your focus is what manifests. The problem is that we have difficulty manifesting and there's multiple things that are gonna come. Some of you still know where I'm headed, but I'm gonna throw in a few, a few curveballs that you might not have heard of. Uh, so where you place your focus is what we're going to manifest next. Uh, a good chunk of us are um, happy and another good chunk of us are miserable. There's a good chunk of us that are um, wishing that we had this, but it's not manifesting, and so we keep hoping. There's a chunk of us that just hate life and what it brings to us. And so each one of these uh, opportunities is where our focus is at. Who has control over your focus? Who has control? Did you point at yourself? Did you say me silently when no one was watching? Because I can't hear you. So you all admit you're responsible, but do you take responsibility when, quote, S-H-I-T happens to you? Hmm? If you've been watching me for a year or so now, the answer is yes. You wouldn't be sticking around this long if you didn't start taking responsibility for your karma and your spiritual debt. Still a chunk of you are not taking responsibility for what happens to you, but we're moving you in that direction. So let's assume further that you're taking responsibility for what happens to you. The next step in this awakening is to take responsibility for each moment. Now, unfortunately, fully all of humanity, with very few exceptions, are not taking responsibility for each moment. We are reacting to each moment, and in, in the vast majority of our cases, we are reacting uh, from a place of complete numbness, an unawareness 
from a place of a lack of alignment, from a place of a lack of um, knowingness that our reaction has everything to do with the future. Our reaction to the current moment has everything to do with the future. Why? According to Tao science, there is positive and negative. Let's do it a different way. There is negative and positive. Either way, that's all that there is in the yin-yang world. <clears throat> so what are we manifesting? We are manifesting that which we gather the most of. We are bringing forth into our energetic field that which we place the most attention upon. It's not, uh, I want a million dollars, therefore I'm going to place my attention on the million dollars. That's not a positive focus. That is a I want focus. Tao Science says, is our focus on positive or is our focus on negative? Cut and dry, black and white, very simple. The majority, and when we start focusing on, for example, positive, most of us want more of that, right? Who wants more of the other one? Who wants more of the negative? Come on! We all want more of the positive, but where is our focus at? Where is our attention at in each and every moment? So Tao Science says, focus specifically on positive. Damn hard in some of our lives, right? But we can do it. For some of us, it's much easier. For some of us, not so easy. When we focus on positive, like attracts like. You've heard that before. So by focusing on positive, exclusively and specifically, purposely with each thing that enters your life, including your next breath, and when your kid comes home screaming about the kid that, 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 that took advantage of them, and when your coworker is unpleasant and gossiping, and when you're not feeling good, when you focus on the positive, regardless of what enters your life, like attracts like. Therefore, God, I wish I could feel better. I really want to feel better. If I felt better, I could serve more. If I felt better, I could do more with my daughter. If I felt better, I could da, 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 da. I thank you, God, for everything you do for me to help me feel better. Even though right now at this moment, I'm not. I'm very grateful for the health I do have. There's always choice. In the yin-yang world, in the negative positive world, the world that's being defined by Tao science, negative and positivity, <clears throat> there is always choice. We've been told by all the great scriptures throughout history there is what's called free will. And that is a truth uh, that, that I have come to understand through all the teachings I've ever read and seen. And I encourage you to consider that in your uh, a belief system. It's completely up to you. Um, but if there is such a thing as free will, that means in each moment we have choice. Do we choose negative response? Do we choose positive response? If we choose negative response, most of the time it's because that's what we've done. It doesn't mean that um, we want to choose that response, especially if we have an intention to go you know, the other way. But it also means we need in that moment to go, oh, don't, wrong choice. It doesn't matter if you're two seconds in, ten seconds in, or one hour into the negativity. Stop instantly when you think about it and apply the soul power. Forgiveness. Choose to think positive at that moment and start moving into gratitude. In essence, you're unwinding the negative energies that you put into motion further, which would if you don't stop and start shifting it bring you more unpleasantries so when you keep doing this you obviously move yourself towards a point where when that negative whatever wants to fly out your mouth you catch yourself before it ever does you still do forgiveness please forgive me and you search for how do I change this into a gratitude how do I change this into a positive now this is a talent but this is not just a one hour live stream that that is cute and you go oh that's great information okay let's move forward in life and you find yourself the next day being miserable if you want to manifest what you want then no one's going to do it for you guys 
Wake up and smell the roses. I'm not going to do it for you. You know, Kuan Yin, she loves you. She's not going to do it for you. Jesus loves you. He's not going to do it for you. They'll all give you blessings. I'll give you blessings. But it's not going to change your soul, your world, and your manifestation. You created it. You're responsible for it. Wake up, smell the roses. You got to do the work. No one's going to do it for you. And it starts by choosing. It starts by using your free will in the right direction. Now, when you start doing so, what happens is heaven rewards you. Heaven starts bringing to you positive affirmations, more positivity because that's where your intentions are. Therefore, more positive things come. Therefore, you can state in more places of gratitude, which bring more positivity. And you start to snowball of positivity until whack, something hits you over the head, which is called karma, by the way, bad karma. And then you fall off your positivity wagon back into negativity, right? pretty much happens to all of us at least once in a while but because you have been training your brain doesn't matter the size of that negative whack you want to look at it with the eyes of your beloved creator you want to look at it with the eyes of gratitude you want to look at it with the eyes of opportunity one of the Tao source uh, uh, wisdoms that came through the, through the Tao science workshop this weekend was that when we uh, change our perspective on what we have judged because that's what we've been taught what we have judged is negative we change our perspective on it and we say this is a gift this came to me because my ancestors or i harmed somebody in the exact way this gift arrived right the gift arrives and it takes a hundred dollars from you the gift arrives and it causes a car accident the gift arrives and you have an, a physical ailment the gift arrives and you lose your job whatever the gift is it's a gift. Change your perspective. It might take you two minutes, one hour, one day. Change your perspective. Ask yourself from a conscious place, am I going to do anything to benefit my future by focusing on the negativity over here? Hmm. Probably not. But it sucks. I, don't know. I can't believe that person did this. You know, I got fired because... You're back in the no responsibility. You're back in the negativity. It doesn't matter who you blame. It's not going to shift the negativity, and it certainly is not taking responsibility for why it came to you, which is your karma, or how to not have more of it. Every speck of karma that comes to us, good or bad, we are responsible for. Uh, we love the good ones, but we fail to take responsibility for the unpleasant ones. And if you want to manifest your future in a very positive way, take responsibility for the unpleasant ones first by framing it, right? Framing it in the right mindset. Ah, another gift has arrived. Thank you, uh, heaven, for showing me where I and my ancestors have brought harm or suffering to others. Um, and you do a forgiveness practice around it. You chant love, peace, harmony. You give it blessings. You break out the calligraphies. You do whatever it takes to melt it as quickly as possible. But keep yourself in a positive place of gratitude. Aside from just the placation, you know, it feels like, well, you're just placating me with, with this, this information. Yes, uh, nevertheless, it's accurate information. But let's take that even further. Let's imagine that you did this. Don't you think that the amount of time that you uh, suffer from that thing that hit you over the head will be substantially lessened as a result of you moving forward into this positivity? Of course it will. It doesn't matter if it's a lost job or what it is. If it was a lost job and you can't find income anywhere, the focus on that is just keeping you in that place. It's common sense. So you have to choose for your own well-being positivity. You have to choose for your own well-being a different way to go. Now, most of us have heard variations of this information. I'm not going to go into the creative visualization. I'm not going to go into all the other things that all the other great masters have said before. Um, they're all correct in their way. Now I'm going to go into some deeper wisdoms that came through the Tao Science. Welcome Susan Rossman. Welcome Deborah Anderson. And Deborah, please stick around. We're all going to uh, offer a blessing for your son. Her son is in ICU right now. Um, uh, very high blood pressure. 
ICU, that's intensive care. Uh, I, I can't imagine her son's more than 30, 35, maybe 40 years old. Um, so uh, uh, for those that have Divine Healing Hands that are watching, as appropriate, please turn on your Divine Healing Hands. I'll turn on mine right now. Offer it to Deborah Anderson's son, uh, who's in ICU, for the condition of uh, balancing the blood pressure, okay? As appropriate. I will turn on mine and offer this blessing. Okay, so the blessing has already begun. Um, so I'm going to uh, put everything in a nutshell, and I'm going to move to the next stage. Okay, what 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 Master Rulin brought through the Tao Science Wisdom. <clears throat> um, so let's include uh, Katie Nada's father in ICU for whatever is most needed for him at this time, as appropriate. As appropriate, remember to say that. Okay. Welcome, Jessica Abin. Um, okay. In a nutshell, here's what I've said. We are all creators in the eyes of our divine creator. We came from the same spark, and we've been given this thing called life. As a soul, we go through many, many lifetimes creating, and we create both pleasant and unpleasant uh, experiences, which create positive and negative um, impact on our soul. So at the soul, it's been, it, you can call it Akashic Record. Tao Science calls it positive and negative um, uh, reflection on our soul and our soul journey. And in this physical yin-yang world, the one we operate in, um, we do our best to move through life. And because of our uh, karma, both good and bad, we have experiences that enter our, ex our life, um, some positive, some negative. The message is how we react in each moment impacts our future. Okay? If we have a negative experience and we react to negativity and, we, and that's the predominancy of our, of our thoughts, words, and actions, as a result of that negativity that's entered, then we will manifest more negativity. Very simple. Like attracts like. Uh, the message is focus on positivity, turn whatever it is that comes into your life um, into a positive message. Uh, see, it, see that negative uh, entrance of that experience as a gift for the opportunity to clear that spiritual debt from your life forever. Uh, apply forgiveness, apply love, peace, harmony many times, not one time, uh, and keep yourself in a positive place. This allows you to move forward um, to greater levels of awareness. Tao Science is T-A-O, uh, and you can find the book on Amazon and other places. It's called Soul, Mind, Body, Science by Dr. and Master Shah. Soul, Mind, Body, Science. You'll find it on Amazon. So, and so now you know that it makes more sense to be positive. Uh, and then by being positive as much as possible, literally in each breath, along with each thing that enters your world as you're outside walking, positive gratitude to the trees, positive gratitude to the air, gratitude to, to having a job, even if the job is not making you happy or the people that are not making you happy, gratitude that you have a job that is providing a source of income for you and the family, change things to stay in that place of positivity. This, in essence, starts opening your heart. Now, this is where I lead into new information, okay? Uh, a good chunk of you already have this understanding, uh, but again, we don't apply it on a daily basis, so what good is having this understanding if you don't apply it on a daily basis? We all have that one big thing we want. It could be, you know, our family happiness. It could be the, the wealth that we want, because with that wealth, we can have more happiness, okay? It could be uh, a success in business. It could be personal health return. But regardless of that one thing uh, that you may choose in this subject matter for today's understanding, <clears throat> it will not come to you unless you do one major and important thing. This was an aha moment for me during this weekend workshop with Master Rulin. 
and it makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to lead into it by reminding you of some things that I've taught before. Some of you this might be new information. So I will go slower. Some of you have already heard it. You may get a deeper layer of it. Master Sha uh, brings to us ancient Chinese teachings, Eastern wisdom teachings called Shen, Qi, and Jing. Shen uh, has a meaning that reflects soul, heart, mind in that order. Soul leads the heart, heart leads the mind. Shen. The next one is Qi. Qi is energy. The next one is Jing. Jing is matter. Shen, Qi, Jing. Soul, heart, mind, energy, matter. Okay? So this is uh, ancient wisdom and teachings that the soul leads the heart. The heart leads the mind. The mind leads the, um, the chi, the energy, and the chi leads the matter. Now let's plug manifestation into this concept. Who, a showing of hands, smiles, whatever. How many people know about mind over matter? How many people are familiar with what you focus on is, is what you become? You, you put enough focus on it, it will come to fruition. How many people are familiar with that? Okay, a lot of smiles, a lot of happy faces, a lot of hearts, great. <clears throat> and so we know that mind over matter is important. Master Shah recently released a book called Soul Over Matter, which is a book on manifesting finances. And he wrote that with another gentleman who is a manifesting finance guru from the mind over matter world. Uh, he's very, very intelligent, very sharp guy, very wealthy man. He has many, many hundreds of thousands of students, and they co-wrote this book, but it's called Soul Over Matter. And what is missing, and what I haven't revealed yet, is in this order of things, soul, heart, mind, chi, and then jing. Remember, jing is matter. What moves the matter? Qi, energy moves the matter. Tai Chi, Qigong. There are hospitals in China where they just do Chai Chi and Qigong movements and their uh, health, major health issues, cancers and whatnot, go away. When you move the Qi, the matter will move and potentially dissolve because you're connecting to source energies. What moves the Qi? What's above the Qi? The mind, right? Mind over matter. So if you focus on it, enough the chi starts moving and it brings forth the matter so mind over matter is about manifesting we've come through an entire era of mind over matter mind over matter has served us very very well and many people have in fact manifested uh, things as a result of mind over matter but those who have not and who have applied it also have karma financial karma, spiritual debts, a variety of things that inhibit them from manifesting what they're asking for. I still haven't revealed. I'm going to share with you more. There's a very big secret. This is just stuff most people have heard before. So in mind over matter, we can apply soul power. What is soul power? Soul power is recognizing that uh, we have spiritual debts, blockages, that are inhibiting us from manifesting what we're putting our mind on. So if, for example, we're trying to have our business prosper, and Joe Smith over here, who doesn't know dink from dink, his, you know, his intelligence level is not all that great, he's a nice guy, but he certainly doesn't have the MBAs and everything you have, but he's over here with a prosperous business. You have massive intelligence, and your business can't rub two nickels together. How? Well, Joe Smith has good financial karma. The person over here with the MBAs may not. And so soul power would state there's a, a karmic reason why your mind is not manifesting. So you do the soul power practices of forgiveness practices for all the times you and your ancestors have harmed people's flourishing, kept them from having success, caused them to lose their jobs. The list could go on for a long, long time, all the different ways people's flourishing can, can be minimized. And sometimes still nothing happens. So that's interesting. How come? Even if we're doing all the work, we're manifesting, 
we're positive, we're focusing on good things, we're serving, we're doing things for others, we are asking forgiveness every day, but it's still not coming. Ah, this was what was revealed in this week's workshop, and it was huge. What is the order? Soul, heart, mind, energy, matter. Now, we're applying soul power, which is releasing the spiritual debt little by little by little. But there's something above the mind that's called heart. The heart houses the soul and the mind. <coughs> Excuse me. When the heart is not open, when the heart is not aligned to the highest source, when the heart is serving others but not serving self, when we do not forgive ourselves, when we have guilt, when we do not love ourselves, when we do all those for self but we don't do anything for others, when we have hurt with God because our mother left us when we needed her most or because we lost our son uh, in a tragic car accident or because any number of reasons when we have our blockage with God. There are so many ways in which the heart gets closed. When the heart is closed, the funnel of virtue in heaven cannot reach us here on earth. The, the Tao source secret is that virtue in heaven is heaven's money and that human here on earth, we have earth money. The amount of earth money is equal to the amount of heaven's currency or virtue. So us and our ancestors have to do many good things to receive virtue here on earth. Um, so there are those of us that are watching now and will be watching and listening in the future that have plenty of virtue good virtue in heaven that can manifest down here. And we're doing all the practices and we're doing the soul power, doing the forgiveness, but it's not manifesting down here. There's a, 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 a crimping right in the middle, like an hourglass. And you're getting this little trickle coming down. The answer that was revealed over the weekend in this workshop was to open the heart to release the heart and soul blockages that are inhibiting you from receiving love, from giving love. I told you in the beginning this would be very, very simple, but maybe difficult to grasp, difficult to apply. So now we understand the simplicity. Okay, well, I've been trying to open my heart. I've received the drown order of treasure. I've received the crown chakra blessing for opening my heart. What else can I possibly do, Master Paul? Open your heart more. How? How do I do that? Well, if you haven't received a crown chakra blessing or healing and transmission system for uh, clearing the blockages in your heart center, getting a brand new heart center, getting light wall protections, do that. S step number one. Clear your heart chakra blockages. Get one of the healing and transmission systems. Your life will never be the same. It will save you hundreds of lifetimes of suffering. That's step number one if you don't have it. A couple hundred dollars. Cheap. Do it. Crown chakra blessing. Cheap. Do it. But if you've done that, it's not a bad thing to do it more. It's never going to hurt. But what else can you do? Every breath in every moment is an opportunity to move yourself into more of an open heart and more of the positive frequency. Every choice you make. Do you turn on the television and watch something violent? I have more than I need to. Uh, do you um, uh, react? Does your ego flare when somebody says something about you? What if um, you perceive that somebody is thinking something about you because of the way they look at you. Is your reaction positive or negative? Do you see it as an opportunity 
to um, turn the tide and see that that negative glare that uh, who does she think she is response or or that person that cuts you off and you almost died because they were a jerk in the in the, in the driving each moment is a choice and an opportunity to see as a gratitude thank you heaven for not dying when that person almost cut me off thank you for intervening protecting me that was miraculous i bow my head to you god thou source master shah jesus whoever came to offer that incredible life-saving blessing i bow my head to you i thank you to the soul that almost cut me off i offer you blessings so that nobody else gets hurt and i encourage you to be more awake when you drive Change it instantly. It doesn't matter if it's the person that gave you a sideways look or not. If it's a negative thing that came from somebody else, it could be a karma that you can do forgiveness practice around. But in any case, in the moment, you can change these. What else can you do? You can, from the moment you wake up, be in a place of gratitude. Do a forgiveness practice. Consciously smile consciously make breakfast with putting love into the cereal love as you pour the milk for the child putting love into whatever you're doing and as you walk out the door choose to change your attitude bless the trees be grateful for the oxygen they give you it's easier for me to espouse this now in the moment because i'm flowing it's not easy for me to go out and do what i'm suggesting nor is it easy for you it is a life choice based on the Tao science and life choice understanding that soul carries the negative and positive energies heart is the reflector of how open is our heart to clear these blockages so that we can receive the vast amounts of blessing that heaven wants to give us heaven is at our doorstep showering us with the greatest love in every moment but we can't see it because we're so stuck in our worlds in our pain in our whatever we can't see it and when we open our heart through these simple consciousness steps in as many moments as we can possibly remember then you can have flourishing come the flourishing will start to trickle through. The, the waistline opens up a little bit. The virtue that you've been creating all this time starts to flow through to you. And what happens when you receive better and better things? You become even more grateful, even more sharing with others of anything that you've received. Share, share, share. Teach others is sharing. Feed others is sharing. Uh, Blessings for others is sharing. Buying a Master Shah book for a couple of dollars on Amazon and giving it to somebody and teaching them how to use the calligraphies is sharing. You just share. You get $1,000, take 100 of it, buy, uh, uh, buy 20 books and teach people how to make their life better. That's just a simple example of sharing. I'm not saying do that. It's one example of returning the virtue that may come to you because you're opening up to positivity. It's the simple 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 example there are many i am no better no worse than any of you i need to apply these the same but i am so grateful that master shah has opened up Tao science and brought this wisdom down to us now i want to let all of you know of a blessing that that i will offer uh it's a crown chakra blessing and the blessing will be to release the blockages that inhibit you from staying in a place of positivity. Um, in other words, when events enter your life, you can see it as a positive or a negative. This blessing will be so that you see things that come in as a negative as a positive. Okay. So that would be a, 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 it's not something that I can offer through, through the channels that I have. It, it's just too big. It's, this is massive. Um, but who wouldn't want to be able to instantly be able to turn a negative into a positive? 
it's going to re still require your work. But in the beginning, our karma keeps us from having a blessing like this. Our karma keeps us from remembering to turn a negative into a positive. It is the karma that inhibits us from even making that simple choice that makes so much common sense. And it's just right in front of us. One of the master teachers would say, it's like the octopus on your face. You can't see the octopus on your face, but that's what the karma is. So if you can handle the, the crown chakra blessing, it's only a hundred. But imagine how much uh, uh, could come to you in the form of manifestation by being able to move yourself into a place of positivity on a more consistent basis. You just need to start that ball rolling. Once the ball starts rolling, it's a whole lot easier to keep it going. It's the getting the ball rolling that the karma is inhibiting us. Okay. So, and thank you, Kristen, for posting the link uh, on the ta on the timeline. There, it's called Divine Services. You can find the Crown Chakra blessing through there and, and register that way. Truly, a huge, huge, huge blessing. I can it is beyond measure, huge blessing. Um, if you can do it, do it. Don't hesitate. It will benefit you to remain in a place of positivity and turn that instant <clears throat> into what you need it to be. Okay. Um, I will offer a second crown chakra blessing for those that think they got a pretty good grip on that. And the second one that will be available is ease in focusing and manifesting on what you want to receive. Ease in focusing and manifesting what you want to receive. So the first one is making sure you have the, the, the positive click. Okay. The second one will be, I'm, I might have to give that one to myself. Um, can, can you imagine? Give myself a crown chakra blessing. We do that sometimes as masters. We have to give it to ourselves. Uh, and we have to pay for ourselves too, by the way. <clears throat> um, so this is the blessings that are recommended. One, and I'll repeat first that I just saw two or three people just come on. Welcome Dakota, welcome Mega, welcome Kyla, and welcome also to Candy Cornette. And um, I think I saw one of a new person. Okay. So one of the crown chakra blessings, if it's of interest, is to uh, release the blockages that cause us to um, stay in that negative place. In other words, when something negative happens, we this blessing will, will bless you to turn it into a positive with gratitude. The second blessing is to be able to uh, easily um, think about and be confident in your manifestation. Okay? Easily think about and be confident in your manifestation. That would be the second one. That's by choice if you want to receive those. All right. Yeah, good karma. Share, share, share. Good job, Elizabeth. So to, uh, to complete this teaching today, I will offer a blessing. And let me check. Give me just a minute. Okay, I will offer you all a financial blessing. This will be for $200 to manifest as quickly as possible because that's the honor fees for these two crown chakra blessings. According to whatever is appropriate, this blessing will be uh, conditional. You have to make an agreement with heaven that if you receive these crown chakra blessings because the $200 comes, that you will, upon receiving a uh, uh, positive manifestation, you will serve with that positive manifestation. Doesn't matter what it is, that you will make others happier and healthier. That has to be your agreement. Heaven will bring this $200 to you really fast. If you tell heaven, heaven, I promise that when I receive these $200, I will get these crown chakra blessings. And with the positivity that it brings, when those manifestations comes forth, I will make others happier and healthier. You make that agreement, heaven will be happy to deliver it to you. Okay? All right. <clears throat> Everybody sit up straight. Feet flat on the floor. 
back away from the back of the chair. Touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth gently. Close your eyes. Bring your thoughts and your mind and your breath into your lower abdomen. Jessica, this is a blessing. You're going to receive the blessing, but then be sure you go back and watch. <clears throat> blessing for all those watching, all those listening, as appropriate to receive financial blessings of $200 as quickly as possible for the purpose of receiving one or both of the crown chakra blessings with their individual's agreement to creator that they, once they receive positive success, manifestation, that they will use whatever positive success and manifestation they have received to be of value to others, to serve others, to make them happier and healthier. As appropriate, blessing begin. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, my teacher, thank you, uh, transmission, uh, thank you, heaven, thank you to my ten divine for this service for these souls. How you are all very, very blessed. So, for those that are new, came in a little bit late. Um, the last part won't make sense until you watch the whole thing. This will be in a recording about five or so minutes after I hit the completion button. Uh, you can subscribe, and which means you'll know when I go live. Uh, big, big, big teachings today. Big, big, big blessings. Okay. The first step is stay in positivity. Trust that the blessings will come. That will be heaven's test to you. Do you trust that it will come? You may trust, but if you are not staying in a place of positivity, how can your heart be open for it to come to you? Pay attention to the lessons and the way they were taught to you and the order they were taught to you. You keep your heart open. You move forward in each moment, moving in that heart opening, it will come. If it does not, take a look at where is your thinking. Pay attention. You are responsible for it arriving. It will arrive if you do your part. When it arrives, follow through because heaven's not going to give it to you by accident. They're going to give it to you so that you can further awaken your heart, further release the negative blockages. Heaven is always serving us, giving us their greatest love 100% of the time. They are never not serving us 100%. It is our closed heart and everything else that is inhibiting us from receiving it. Follow the, the pattern. Allow yourself to receive. It will just move you higher and higher on this journey. It is my honor to serve you. I love you all. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.